Hey guys, this is Live by the Code here. Today I've got some HD assault gameplay footage to share. I can't quite remember the name of this map, but I am on the defending team for this round. So this is just pretty much showing showing you guys what a typical typical battlefield bad company to game for me is like. I know I've been posting a lot of recon gameplay videos, but assault is actually my favorite class. It's the class I play the most by far, I have the most points on it, the most, most hours uh, hours spent playing it. Uh, I'm showing you guys this part because I want you guys to look at look at the look at the building that the MCOM station is, is in. It's just getting torn up uh, piece by piece by rockets and uh, grenades. And um, you'll see you'll see what happens. You'll see what happens later on. So yeah, you can actually shoot people through uh, wood. Now your bullets won't go through very many things in Bad Company 2, but they will go through wooden structures. So if you see people hiding behind fences or wooden sheds like that one, uh, feel f feel free to shoot because your bullets will hit them. And uh, as for my loadout loadout for this round, I'm using the M16A2 assault rifle. I'm not using the 40 mm frag grenade option. Instead, I've used the 40 millimeter smoke grenade uh, in my setup instead. And the reason for that is just because I find that the smoke grenades can actually be really tactical, um, and they they can be very interesting to use. So uh, hopefully, we see some smoke grenade action. We okay, are taking out a bunch of guys who are attacking our uh, MCOM station and disarm kill as well here. So yeah, if, in case you're wondering, you while you're disarming, uh, at least on the PC, you can you can just hold on to the E button, and while you're holding on to the E button, you can actually turn around and look around and shoot. You can even move. Um, you just have to stay within like one yard of the MCOM station to continue disarming. Two more quick kills from uh, of attackers here, and you'll see that what I'm doing actually is I'm taking my smoke grenade. And I'm actually gonna lay down, uh, lay down smoke rounds on either side of uh, of where the enemies are attacking. And I'll tell you why I'm doing this in a moment. But right now, I see a UAV, and when you see a UAV, always press Q. And what that Q button, in case you don't know, is the squad order button. So whenever you see something and you press Q. Uh, you basically report it to the rest of your team, and they will see it on their maps and on their screens as well. So it's very useful for identifying uh, hard to spot targets. And right about now, you'll see that the building that the MCOM station is in is pretty much busted. And now we will see more explosives targeting the building. I think a rocket is going to hit it right about now. And yeah, that's going to finish off the building. So the building is going to collapse. And along with the collapsing building, like you saw in my uh, tank video, the MCOM station is going to get destroyed as well. So the enemies are going to advance. And uh, I'm going to go down here. So they are advancing. I take out two more attackers. Use a smoke grenade to cover my retreat as I, uh, as I reload. Now as for why I was shooting those smoke grenades off to the sides earlier, it's to it's basically to obscure the vision of snipers. I don't know if you've played sniper in the past, but it's actually very difficult to snipe through smoke. It's very very difficult to see through uh, see through smoke to your uh, tenex scope. It also prevents attackers from being able to spot me. And so you might wonder why I'm shooting it off to the distance instead of shooting it you know where, right in front of me. And the reason for that is because one thing I've noticed is that it's really difficult to see out of smoke when you are inside smoke. Whereas it's it's relatively easy to see into smoke if you're looking at it from far away, looking in. So that there's the reason for that. And uh, so yeah, they did manage to take out another one of our MCOM stations, and I'm we're, we're defending the final one right now. I think. And I'm gonna get killed by an RPG by someone arming the charge. I get revived, so I'm pretty happy. I'm I'm gonna go in there and try and defuse the charge. I see the guy. I try to knife him. I get my knife out, but somehow he doesn't die, and knifes me instead. 
So I'm gonna get. I got revived there by a medic who just charged in there to revive me when it wasn't safe, so I got knifed again. So here we are taking up some more attackers. You can see the attackers only have six lives left. So they are almost, almost finished. And here we are, spot the final sniper, and there's the winning kill. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I have some better ones coming out soon. Be sure to check out my other ones. And this is Live by the Code. I'll see you guys later.